Hi, I'm Mrs. Monroe from Chapelwood Elementary School. I'm a third grade teacher, and today we're learning what is energy. Here's Mr. Crosslin. Huh, nice introduction. So, what is energy? What is energy? What is energy? I'll tell you, um, I was getting kind of tired before I came here, and I thought, you know, I gotta have to have some energy before I come into this great classroom and do this lesson. So you know what I did? I went and got a battery, and I held on to it, thinking, ah, that battery's gonna give me energy. Guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> but you can take a battery and you put it in a, in a car and it works. Why didn't it work on me? And then, then I went and got a, a piece of wood, and I thought, let me hold on to this piece of wood. I still felt tired. But I know if you burn wood, that gives off energy. And then so um, I thought, what should I do? What do you think I should have done? Eat food. Thank you. Eat food, he said. So I went to the cafeteria. I had a sandwich. And now inside of my stomach, that sandwich is giving me energy. It gives me the ability to do work. Energy gives you the ability to do work. I bet if you look on your worksheet, turn it over, and it says right uh, on the top, energy is the ability to do work. I need a volunteer. Somebody strong, muscles, big, strong, a lot of energy. <clears throat> Pick someone for me. Oh, you? Thank you. Oh, sure, why not? Well, let's see the, the muscles here. Whoa! Yeah. Take it easy on me. A lot of energy. All right, put your hands right up here. All right. Energy is the ability to do work. Scientists say work is when you use a force, we got a lot of muscle right here, force to move an object. Go ahead. Move an object. Go on, push. Yeah, come on. Move an object. I thought she's going to move an object. She's not moving. Is she doing any work? No, she's using force, but in science, you have to use a force to move an object. Oh. Now she did it. Let's try it again. This is, is this work? Is this work? No. No. Is this work? Yes. Is this work? No. Is this work? Yes. Thanks. I might have to have another battery and a sandwich. So, energy is the ability to do work. Work is when you use a force to move an object. Like your teacher. I'd watch out for her. She's got some, I'm just saying. So that is energy and work. Now, force. You saw a push force, you saw a pull force. Let's do an experiment, okay? So let's get ready for this. Let's do an experiment. Take your hand, stand up, push down on your desk as hard as you can. One, two, three. Did your desk move? Yes! Are you using a force? Yes! Or are we doing work? No! no. Look at these kids over here. Try it again. One, two, three. Push! No, we're pushing, but nothing is moving. No work, all right, stop. You're not pushing the right way. No, it's because nothing is moving. All right, take your pencil, lay it on your desk, no energy, lift it up. On the count of three, drop it, and let's see if it moves. Let's see if we can do some work. One, two, three. Did, did it move? Let's do it again. Are we ready? Ready? On your desk. Put it on your desk. Lift it up. One, two, three, drop. What was the force that pulled it down? Anybody? What? Grab it. Let's do it one more time with gravity. Ready? Leave it on your desk. Use some of your energy to lift it up. One, two, three, gravity. Very good. I guess you prove that gravity is a force that works in this room. We're going to explore energy, and you have a worksheet, and there's five different types of energy. Maybe we could turn the light out here and see what's the uh, the first one is electrical energy, electrical, right? And then the next one is heat. Okay. And then we have one that is uh, light. Okay, we have light energy. And then we have one that, this is, might be a new word for you, mechanical. Have you seen that word before? Yes. Yeah. And then finally down at the bottom we have sound energy. Okay, sound energy. Sound is so sad. Sound. 
All right, so let's take a look at electrical energy. You can draw these as fast as you can. And let's look around the room and I see you have your books open. Here's the first one. What do you think this is? Battery. battery. Draw a battery. That's electrical energy. Okay. And maybe a, anybody else, can you think of another thing that's a, a electrical energy? A light. A lamp or a light or lantern. a lantern. How about something that looks like this that, uh, that light comes out of? A flashlight. A flashlight. Draw these as quick as you can and write them. Or maybe anything that you can plug in. Charger. To the wall. A charger. A charger. What else uses the uh, electrical energy? Yes. Uh, what else? Think about in your room. Look around here. Your garbage disposal. The garbage disposal. What else? That have? Yes. Your TV. The t your TV. What about your phone? Yeah, what else? Light. Light. Oh, what about in nature? Is there anything that's electrical in nature? When there's a big storm, maybe you've seen what? Lightning. 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 I'd, put, I'd put a <laughs> Okay. All right. Now let me ask you this. So we have a battery, a lamp, something you plug in, a TV, a phone, a flashlight, lightning. What are some things that might give off heat energy? Water. Mm. Oh, thanks. Yeah, like if you burn, look, there's a campfire. I like campfires. But if you have a campfire, a fire gives off heat. What else gives off heat? Sun. Oh, you're my favorite student right now. The sun gives off heat. Lava. 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 Who said that? Lava, you're my favorite student right now. If you have a volcano, smoke's coming out. Lava. What else gives off heat? Steam. The steam. Uh, boiling water. Yes, water. boiling water. You're my favorite student right now. Water. Um, water. A star. A star is a sun. A toaster. I like that. A toaster gives off heat. A microwave. A microwave gives off heat. You don't want to... uh, what about? What about this? Oh, maybe you know this. Maybe you know this. Candle. A candle gives off heat. Write these, put as many as you can. Oh, something we put over here that happens when there's a big storm, guess what? Lightning, Lightning gives off heat. It's hot. It's very hot. It'll burn things. And sometimes it burns the trees. It sometimes burns down the trees or starts a fire. All right, this is very good. Let's try light. What gives off light? The lamp. The sun. The lamp. Huh. The sun. You're my favorite new person. The sun gives off light. Candle. You're my favorite new person. The candle gives off light. Lava gives off. Fire. Lava. Fire. Fire. Light right. toaster. A light bulb. Just a bit though. A toaster. That light bulb. Because if you look in a toaster. It, you're right, it's what color? A microwave. A microwave. And even, you should maybe draw a light bulb. A light bulb gives off light. A computer. A flashlight. A flashlight. Wow, you guys are good. An oven. You're very good at this. Now, mechanical is a little bit harder for you. You may not know that word. But think of things that move. Like when you sharpen your pencil, if you turn it, a... A pen, it rotates, a pencil air, sharpener. Air. What about a a car? What are, what are a robot? What are some other things that might move? Uh, think of some simple machines. I know we studied simple machines. Wheels. 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 Wait, a hex bug. A hex bug. Yeah, well, absolutely. It's a little robot toy. Axle, axle. Uh, a wheel and axle. Excellent. Zoomer kitty. Wait. <laughs> I guess, I guess, a wedge? Well, something going up a ramp would be mechanical. Something you wind up would be mechanical. Skateboard. Put as many down as you can. You have like five seconds. Go. Five, four. I'd like to know who's going to go with a new one. Three in two more seconds. Two, one. Almost done. Who can tell me another mechanical thing? Yes. A scooter. Excellent. All right, mechanical. Oh, this might be an easy one or harder. What gives off sound energy besides, uh, what about? A phone. 
Medium. A person? What about me? A person? What? Hi, can you hear me? I'm giving off yeah. sound energy. Yep. Oh, you're okay. first. I can hear you. Oh. Radio. Radio. Music. Stop being oh. oh. Wait a minute. What about? Uh, there's. It's a stormy night. In a stormy night, we had. Lightning. It was a stormy night, and the lightning was very. Hot. It was a stormy night, and the lightning was very. Sandy. Yeah. Okay. So. Sandy. Sandy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hear something. Fire alarm. A computer. Yes. You have five seconds to write something amazing, and I'm going to ask you in four, three, two, somebody smart, one. What makes off sound energy in the back? Um, ooh, 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 yes, I know you do. A cuckoo clock. A what? A cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock? A chair. A cricket. A bird. Airplane. An airplane. Uh, All right. Good job. We have took a lot of these things. Do me a favor. Take a look in your book. Let's turn the lights on and look on page 124 about some things about energy. Okay, if you look on page 124, here is someone's house. Can you find any other things that you might want to add to your list? Check it out. Uh, use your eyes. Make some observation. All right, I see someone playing an instrument. A microwave. A any toaster? toaster? Any uh? Alarm any pot. food? Alarm clock? A stink pot. All right, check it out. Add to your list. Go ahead, add to your list. Worksheet over because we're going to talk about energy in one more way. There are five different types of energy we've talked about today. There's a few more around that you'll learn later. But most energy can be divided into two types. And on your worksheet, we've divided it into two types. One type is potential. Everybody say that. Potential, potential energy, which means stored. Okay? S T O R. That means it's stored. All right. The other type of energy is kinetic. Kinetic. Everybody kinetic. say that. Kinetic. 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 kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is things that move. When things are moving, it's kinetic. When it's stored, it's potential. Everybody say potential energy. Potential energy. Everybody kinetic. say kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay. Let's take a closer look. Great. Potential kinetic energy. Ready? Step up, potential, and then fall forward, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. Keep going that way. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. Potential. Every time you walk, you're stepping up, that's potential. And when you fall forward, that's kinetic. Ready? Let's do it again. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. Hey, can you walk better than that? Let's try it. Potential, kinetic. Potential, kinetic. <laughs> this time on your own. Potential kinetic, potential kinetic. <laughs> Good job, now get out of here. <laughs> so, potential energy is when you give something energy, stored energy. Let's do this one again, ready? Take your pencil, lift it up. Now it has potential energy. It has potential energy. On the count of three, it, we're gonna let go, and it's gonna be kinetic energy. So everybody say that, I'll count to three. Everybody say kinetic energy and let it drop. Potential energy, one, two, three, kinetic. Wow. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look. All right, let's, now that we've started about potential and kinetic, first thing I want you to do is draw a banana. Because banana and food, food is potential energy. When I eat my the banana or the sandwich, 
it goes inside of me and it transforms into sound energy and heat. Feel my, uh, feel your head. That heat is from the food you eat and mechanical energy when I move. So food is stored energy. Food is stored energy. You know what happened if you stopped eating? Eventually you would die. You would run out of energy. You wouldn't be able to do any work. 30, 40 days, your body would go, all right, there's something wrong with this guy. He stopped eating. Let's dissolve all of his fat. And all the fat would go. A few more days, he's still not eating. Let's get rid of his muscle. And your body would start absorbing your muscle and you wouldn't even be able to move. And eventually everything would shut down and you would not have a good day. You need food, you need energy to live. That's why you gotta eat all the time. That's why my cousin doesn't my All right, all uh, right, here's one. Watch this. I have a rubber band. Go ahead and draw a rubber band. Rubber band and I have it as potential energy. Let's take a look at that up close. This girl, it was kind of unfair. She kind of beat up me on the last time with all her muscles, right? So give me a chance, all right? Okay. Here's so this is no energy, right? Okay. Hold that. Hold it tight. Now we're going to give it some potential. Oh, no. What? Don't, don't I what? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Don't let no energy. energy. Don't, don't let go. Don't let go. Don't Hold back. Go. Potential energy. On the count of three, let go, okay. and it'll be kinetic. No energy. No energy. Everybody say potential. potential. On the count of three, let go. Ready? Yes. One, two. Ah. <laughs> Why did you pull it? She pulled it out of my hand. Oh, come on. Let's do it for the kids. This time you can. Okay. This time. Okay. That was not fair. Come close. Come close. Come close. You know, no energy. You, you do the talk. You do the teaching to the camera. Go ahead. No energy. One, Aren't two. you gonna count? One, two, three. You should have Why'd you fall again? Wait, wait. Oh, I deserve that. All right, this time you'll get the chance. No energy. Ouch. Potential. One, two, three. So, a rubber band has no energy. This is potential, right? Three, two, one. Kinetic. Let's take a look at something else. What if we had like a big balloon <laughs> that was filled with air? An air balloon. It's supposed to be filled. Yeah, it's supposed to be. That would be potential energy. Go ahead and fill up an air balloon. Or what if we had a piece of wood? That is potential energy because we could burn it. Or what if we had a spring? So wood, an air balloon, or a spring. What's a spring? What's a spring? I'll show you a spring in just a minute. In fact, let's take a closer look. All right, so a balloon, no energy. Shall I do that? No. <laughs> but let's do some work. Let's use a force to move an object. So here's what we're going to do. Look, here's a pull. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Now it's getting potential energy. Potential energy. So I keep going? It might, it might pop. This is just like you're drawing. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen? It's going to let go. Don't let go. Everybody, everybody say potential energy. Three, two, one. Kinetic. Wow, let's try that again. Okay, so let's do that again. That was kind of energetic. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some work. I'm going to use a force to move an object. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. No energy, now it's potential. Now it's potential. Here we go. Now it's got a lot of potential. A lot of potential. Here we go. You guys, on the count of three, say kinetic energy. One, two, three.
Okay, so that was kind of cool. So something with potential energy, when it was flying, it's kinetic. Now, this piece of wood has potential energy. The sun caused this tree to grow. It stored energy. We can burn this and it's nice and hot. Or we can use it as a torch for heat energy or for light energy. Now, I'm not gonna burn this right here, but gas is something else that we could, the gas in here, I can, Wow. <laughs> that's a source of energy that's heat and if you go turn the lights out over there not only is it heat it's also light, yes. light. you can see the light and for many 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 years this is how we had light in our house and heat in our house go ahead and turn the lights back on so we have some more light energy so burning gas this is a type of energy all right potential energy the gas in your car, the oil in your bus, potential energy. In fact, this one's one of my favorite. Anybody know what this might be? Coal. Coal. Coal, Coal used to be a tree millions of years ago. So just like a tree is potential energy, coal is potential energy when it burns. This, in fact, you can still see the tree. It well. You can still see that it has tree bark on it. That's the tree bark from a fossil fuel, a very old tree. So coal is a type of chemical energy. It gives off heat, gives off light. Unfortunately, it gives off a lot of pollution and other gases. So we can make, we can transfer energy from coal, from gas, to electricity, to light. In fact, you may have seen something like this as you drive around. Maybe you've seen one of these before. I've seen one of those before. This is a wind, wind turbine. A turbine. Now, what happens, the sun heats up the land and the water, a little bit uneven, and that's how we get wind. And we get wind, it can move these blades. And if the wind's coming from that way, that can point that way. If the wind's coming from that way, it can point that way. And so every time this turns around, there's a little bit of a dynamo generator right in there. And this spinning can make electricity. Would you like to see something that does that? Yes. Okay. So this is kind of cool. Let's see if we can see how energy, these are all examples of Potential energy that turns into kinetic. I even talked about an ink pen. And uh, there's a spring right here in this pen. There's a spring. No energy. Barrel, 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 barrel. Kinetic energy. So even a spring can go from potential to kinetic. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> did I lose it? Not how it was designed. Not how it was designed. Okay? Oh good, it still works. All right, so I brought along this generator. <laughs> now this is kind of interesting because, well, let's take a closer look at it. So I had this generator. This was uh, an invention that's really pretty cool. And it has a lot of the types of energy we've talked about. First of all, mechanical. Luckily I had that sandwich because now I can change that stored potential energy into moving my arm and I have a mechanical I can turn this right here like this and I hear mechanical I, I hear sound energy and I see mechanical but as you know this is going to make electrical energy so electrical energy this is also going to make turn the lights out ready set go light energy now, so I have mechanical energy, sound energy, electrical energy, light energy, and if you touch it, it's a little warm. Go ahead and touch it for me, would you? Oh, yes, and heat energy. Very good. Oh, I'm getting too tired. I need another sandwich. <laughs> Lights on, please. So, in just a minute, we're going to draw all of this. We're going to draw this, and we should be able to see all five types. In fact, let's go to our seats and make a drawing of this and see if we can name the types. All right, so when you turn the handle, that's ME. What does ME stand for? 
mechanical energy, and I heard some noise coming out of it. That would be sound. SE, sound energy. And then I saw some electricity going, so that would be EE. What does EE stand for? Electric energy. Then I saw some light coming out of it. That would be LE. And then I felt it and felt some heat coming out of it. That would be HE. That's all of them. Mechanical, sound, electrical, light, and heat. Let's take another look at it up close. Okay, so Isabel, this is a energy machine. Now, if I would like you to put your finger right there and right there and see what happens. Ready? One finger, you're very brave. Oh, nothing happened. Hmm. Why don't you put one finger there and one finger there? Let me know if you feel anything. Do you feel anything? What do you feel? A little shock? Moisten your fingers, wet your fingers, because the salt is a good conductor. Now try it. Let me know if there's a difference. Ready? You feel something? Most of the energy is going to the light bulb. We take the light bulb. Are you ready? Now what do you, what did you feel then? Talk to me. Say something. Hey. <laughs> we want the light bulb back in? All right, so now you can feel a little bit of a shock. I take the light bulb out. Mm -hmm. All right. If you guys will try, keep going that way. Anybody that wants to try it, go that way. Keep going that way. Good job. Go ahead, touch two fingers, and then move on. Who's next? If you don't want to do it, that's okay. Two fingers, and move on. Keep going. Who's next? Next. Watch out, man. It's dangerous. I told you. I told you. This is how I transfer mechanical to sound energy. Push down. Something must be wrong with you. Your battery needs to be charged. Moisten your fingers. Now try it. Touch it. Next. Next. One doesn't do it. You have to have two. You don't have to do it, but if you want, you can. Next. Nice. Really? You don't have to do it. Move on. Electrical energy. Free today. Free today. Free today. No, it cost me a sandwich. I had to eat a sandwich of stored energy to transfer this energy. All right. Have you done it yet? Ready? Here we go. I think that's everybody, right? Yeah. Is that everybody? No. No. Not yet. I didn't try. Go. Alright. Let's try one more thing. You two guys hold hands. You guys hold hands. There you go. Hold hands. Well, you put one finger here. And you put one finger there. We'll complete the circuit. Are you ready? Go ahead. Watch out. You're scaring me to death. <laughs> Look at the camera. Here we go. Now we'll complete the circuit. Push hard. And let me know if you notice anything. Ready? <laughs> so that was a very energetic experiment. Let's take a look at one more thing. That was a, a lot of fun, but I tell you, you never want to mess with electrical energy or heat energy because you can get hurt. Now, that hand generator is something special. I know how to do that, so it's not dangerous. Now I'm going to show you one more thing that's kind of cool. This is a, a light uh, 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 energy. In fact, uh, um, well, let's turn the lights out and I'll show you what I mean. We can turn all the lights out and uh, I'll turn this little light on and you maybe you can see it. And there's a nice light. Okay. And so what I like about this is light energy travels in waves. Maybe you can see something different. What? What color is it? In fact, wait a minute, I thought it was just white. 
And it's all the light kind of energy, experiment. light energy is a mixture Whoa. of different types. And so let's uh, work, let's have your teacher in this with uh, an observation. Come on up. Come on up. I'll let you. Uh, and I'll turn the lights out so you can get the grand finale. Tell them what you learned. Right? I want to do something. Unless you're going to say something, then we'll turn the lights out. Go ahead, tell them. Remember, boys and girls, energy is when you can do work. Wow. <laughs> Give us some sound energy, everybody. Woo!